want to just kind of start out by saying thank you for the invite and the opportunity to speak with y'all. Um, John may have had the pleasure or displeasure of following the whole process of us making our first film here in North Carolina. So, uh, but we had an outstanding time doing that. Um, and that's why I kind of want to talk to you guys about it today. Oh, because I think there's a lot of misconception about the film industry, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing for communities when it comes into a community or a state. You know, there's a lot of downside to it that people holler out about the tax incentives and, and you know, giving away money and giving money to California and, and different things like that, but it's not the truth to the matter of how it all actually works. And so we like to always have the opportunity to come in and clear up what it is and what it is and the benefits of having it in the state and in the community. Um, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a background uh, with us, Crazy Ant Media actually started uh, on the Gulf Coast in Biloxi, Mississippi, um, which was an interesting choice to start out with because unless you're from that region, we always had to tell people we're about an hour outside New Orleans or we're in between New Orleans and Mobile because nobody knew where Biloxi was. So that was an interesting start. but. The reason that we did that, and the reason that we were excited about doing that, is because there's a lot of misconception that there's a lot of. Young, and I'm very familiar with your organization. My daughter was in the Builders Club and the T Club, and so I've been around it and, and participated in it for a very long time. And so we work with the youth, and Crazy Ant works with the youth on a regular basis. Um, but there's a lot of misconception that if you don't live in LA or you don't live in New York, that it's impossible to go after the dream of being in the entertainment industry. Right? You have to make that move and sacrifice and do all these things. And we run across young people all the time that aren't pursuing it because they think that's the truth. And so we are very adamant on trying to provide that space to show you that it doesn't matter where you're at in the country or what your, what your path is. You can do it from wherever you're at. We're, we're prime examples of it. Um, starting off in Biloxi, Mississippi, we're, we're drastically different. We actually, uh, our career started in broadcast journalism. We met at the station that we worked at. Um, that's how we that, how we got together. Um, and it, so, it, you know, the difference in ages and the difference in backgrounds and, and where it all comes together, it, it's just proof to the point that no matter what your path is, you can go after the dream if you want to. You're never too young, you're never too old, doesn't matter where you're located at. If you have the passion and the talent, you can do it. So. We were fortunate enough, we, we started off producing other people's projects, right? So there, there's a whole kind of a thing in, in the in indie world, I, I feel like the company, especially our size, you know, the, the entertainment industry is kind of broke up into two different groups. You, you've got suits and creators. Suits are the money guys, the suit, studio chiefs, the guys that put it all, creators, all the artists, right? They, they've got your directors, your cinematographers, your actors, your actresses, etc. In our landscape, in, in the size that we are, being an indie production company, we have to be both. Right? So we're out there trying to facilitate the money and, and, and bring in the funding for the projects, and we're putting all the, the, the people together and hiring all the crew. Also, we're the creators, we're the, we're, we're the writers, the directors, the producers behind all of it. So it's an interesting little mix being indie, but there's some benefits to that where we don't have the studios hounding us about creativity, right? If we want to go a certain area with our project, we don't have somebody on set telling us, eh, that's not okay, we want it this way or this way, which can hinder artists in their attempt to try to do what they're doing. Um, we also have flexibility. If something's going wrong on set, we run into a roadblock or something, we're able to pivot really quickly where the larger studios are not able to. They're on a budget, they're on a time frame, you have to do this, you have to do this. So we have that ability to be able to pivot more frequently. Um, we also have the ability to bring on people that necessarily don't have experience, right? The studios, they're all about hire this person, this person, this person, what have they done, what have they done, what have they done? Our goal, because it was given to us and we have the opportunity to come up this way, is to provide opportunities, especially for the younger generation, to get into the industry without necessarily ever having any experience in it. They have the talent, but they don't have the resume. And it's like, well, how do I get the, the resume? How do I get the experience if I'm never given the opportunity? Well, we were given opportunity. We were given that uh, ability to get on a set and learn and move our way up. So we're trying to provide that opportunity for young people that want to get into the industry right now. The first film that we made our directorial debut on, we shot here in Charlotte. Uh, which we hired all local crew, all of our actors were local. Half the people that worked on that film had never been on a set before. 
They, it was their first time. And they're now all working steady in the industry on their own projects, on big projects. I, it, it was an amazing thing because they were given an opportunity to go, hey, you can do this and you don't have to be here or there. So we pride ourselves on, on doing that and making those opportunities. The good news too is, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the benefits, the economic benefits of the industry in a state, but North Carolina over the last several years, the film industry has generated more than two and a half billion dollars of revenue into the state, hired 25,000 people uh, from all backgrounds and all different areas of, of, of business they've been able to bring on. In the Lake Norman area alone, just in the Charlotte Mecklenburg, and then in this area, fifty-five and a half million dollars was generated last year off just thirteen films that filmed in the area. You know, everybody hears about Wilmington and all the different areas, but this area is starting to pick up increasing, uh, and it's making a lot. Fifty-five million dollars over a twelve-month span is not a small amount of money to generate. Um, when people like us come into a community and, and we do these film projects. We're, we're having cast that need places to stay. They so they're they're paying for hotel rooms, or we're paying for hotel rooms. Uh, they're going to restaurants. They're they're going out to public events and spending their money in the community. And if you're on a long term project for three months at a time, six months at a time, that's a <coughs> lot of money that's being facilitated into the community. So yeah, we get tax incentives, right? We get tax breaks, and we and, and that is a part of it. That's what leads people to these communities and to these states to do it. But in turn, the, the revenue that's generated back into the communities by the accrued and the, and the cast that stay there it is beneficial in so many different ways. It boosts tourism and economics. It brings people in to show what the state has, which in turn, if done properly, even when the film leaves, people are still visiting because they saw this in a film. Oh, wow, that looks great. You know, I want to go visit this place or that place. So it, it generates, you know, economics and, and funding in so many different ways for the state, uh, which we love being a part of. This community for us was very film friendly. When we came and we said we were going to make the film here, they opened the doors. You guys were absolutely amazing. It was during COVID. Everything was shut down. Our industry was shut down. That's how we ended up here. We were out in LA and we have family here and we came and COVID happened and everything shut down and we were stuck. And like everybody out in LA was telling us, don't come back. It's really, really bad here. You can stay, stay. So we made the decision to stay and we made the decision to, to transfer the company here and, and start here. We were hearing good things about the community. And uh, so when COVID happened and we made the decision to shoot, we, there were certain guidelines. We had to like, adhere to everything COVID, COVID protocol. You know, everybody was in the bubble. The temperatures had to be checked. Everybody had to wear masks and gloves. And you had to have vaccination proof. And it, it was a massive project. But on the flip side of that, we're always trying to look at positive things. Johnson C. Smith University was completely shut down. And our, our film took place at a university. And so we had... We went in and we were trying to rent just a dorm room, right? It takes place in the dorm room. We want to do, we want to do this. They were very open. We went in, we toured the facility. They were very open and welcoming and, and showed us everything they had. And when the time came, because of the situation and how we were doing it, we had access to the entire campus and an entire dorm building, not just one dorm room, but the whole thing, which facilitates so much the equipment, the craft services, and all the different departments that have to set up to have access to an entire building as opposed to one room or one hallway made it extremely easy for us to be able to do what we needed to do. It's that type of participation in the community. We shot over in Davidson as well on the campus over at Davidson uh, College, um, a lot of exterior stuff that we were using. Um, and they were very open. Come on in, come down here, we'll do this, we'll do that. So when communities are very open and friendly to the film industry like that, it's a huge benefit because this, our industry is all about networking. It's all about making connect. And so when one company has a really good experience, our, our community, everybody thinks Hollywood is like this giant, huge, there's so many people, but it's a really tight knit community. Everybody knows everybody. So good word or bad word spreads quickly. So when you come into a community and it's a really good place to shoot, the people are friendly, the atmosphere is good, and, and they're, they, that gets out, and then people want to come. People are like, oh, well, we want to shoot there. How did you do this? How did you do that? And so that starts to build word of mouth, and that's why we're starting to see, especially in this region, 
There's so much overflow from Georgia now coming into North Carolina and Alabama and Louisiana. But you're starting to see this region that positive word of map that it's a film-friendly area and that it's good to shoot here. Um, that's huge for you guys because I, I feel like it brings in and gives opportunity for people to get into the industry and provide jobs for, as I said earlier, people who didn't necessarily think they would ever be able to break in, right? And, and so we, we just cast, we're, we're in the process of uh, casting our television series that, that, that we're getting ready to do. We're about to pitch it to HBO. They have interest in it and want it. And we just cast another local person in there. So, you know, a local actress from this community who thought no way ever, she hadn't even thought about it, didn't even think it was possible, could potentially be in an HBO series. And never even thought she could get there, right? Like it wasn't a possibility. So it's important for us to be able to come into communities and show people that it is possible and you can do it. It can be beneficial for the community. It can be beneficial for the citizens within the community. It's beneficial for us, obviously, um, to be able to, to put out positive messages. And, and, and our branding is extremely important to us. Uh, when we first started out, nobody knew who we were. So um, we were producing, as I said, other people's pro uh, projects, and we were producing a Western, uh, and it was gaining some traction, and we got invited to uh, be on a radio show to promote the, the film. And so we went on there, and it went over so well, they asked us if we wanted to do our own show. And we were like, well, we're kind of busy, but uh, what, what are we talking about here? Is it a weekly thing? Is it that kind of thing? But when we started talking about it, we were like, well, you know, we're in Biloxi and nobody knows where Biloxi's at, so how do we get our name out there? How do we do this? So we decided to go ahead and do it. We, uh, we started off as a weekly show, radio um, show, and it took off pretty well. The ratings started to jump up. We passed the flagship show, which they weren't too happy about. Um, so we were like, well, oh, maybe this, if we stayed our course here, maybe we needed to, to pivot a little bit. So, uh, and podcasts were booming at that point. And we were figured, okay, well, let's just convert to a podcast. Let's let's do let's do that. So we converted. We set up a podcast, and the whole goal of our podcast was to get our name out there. But it's evolved into something massively different than that now. We're six years in. We just kicked off our sixth season, and now the podcast is completely geared towards what the company facilitates, which is getting people into the industry, and providing that opportunity for them to learn, you know, the up and comers about how to do it. Oh, we not only talk about all of the industry news every single week about what's happening and what's not happening in all of Hollywood and all across the country, but we interview industry professionals, actors and actresses, directors, producers, costume designers, casting directors, everybody. And so they all have different paths, right? They all got into it from a different avenue. And some of them were born into it because of family. Some of them were coming from you know, the Midwest and never even thought, and boom, they're there. But to provide those stories and to hear those paths, it's very inspirational for our listeners who are like, I didn't think I could do it in Utah, but such and such is from Utah, and now they're a huge star. And so to be able to put that out there for these people to learn from, the, from these professionals in the industry how to do it and how to get in there. And then when our company provide that opportunity for them to actually get on the set and work with us, that has just been huge for us. Um, our podcast now is ranked in the top 20% worldwide uh, every, every single week. It, it's got an international audience. It's provided us, our brand is known all over the country and hugely in Hollywood. Uh, we've developed relationships with all of those people in the industry. We're very close friends uh, with several dozen uh, significantly named individuals in Hollywood. Uh, some of them even provided financing for our film. Uh, so it, it's been great for networking and getting the word out there about that. But the main goal of why we wanted to talk to you guys today is because we wanted to put that stigma that's on the entertainment industry that, it's, that there's bad, it brings in bad stuff to the community, or, or there's disadvantages for it coming in. There's really not. It, it's a really huge benefit to come into a community and have the community be filled with friends uh, and provide opportunities for everybody. So uh, that, that's what we're all about. I hope you guys will see the film. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll provide you guys a way to, to see the film. But, uh, it went on the short film festival circuit. It, it's done all kinds of stuff on the short film uh, festival circuit. That's when we got the attention uh, for, from HBO about wanting to look at our series that we were developing now uh, and kind of going from there. But it's just proof positive, like I said, that it doesn't matter where you start or where you come from. 
You can get to where you want to be and be in a position that you never thought of if you, if you have the drive to actually do it, and the local support of communities like yourself that say, come on in. Well, what can we do to help you guys do this? Uh, you know, And we held the red carpet premiere at Davidson uh, at our town mm -hmm. cinema. Uh, they were fantastic, laid out, everything, gave us a whole space, and and, it, and so in turn, we, we promote that. We have told everybody we know, if you guys are looking to do a film and you want a small little community where it's going to be extremely beneficial and supportive, come here. They're fantastic. And so we've got a lot of people interested now in coming here and shooting in this area. So we hope that that would be great for you guys to, to come in and generate a bunch of money for y'all and, and jobs and, and different things like that. So. Um, I'm always excited. We're always excited to talk uh, in front of people and get the word out there that this is what it's all about, right? And this is what we can do for communities by coming in. It's not a bad thing. Sometimes, you know, you're going to get a massive thing and they're shutting down rooms and they're, you know, they're causing headaches. That happens. It, it does. But I feel like the world has shifted more indie and you're getting smaller productions coming in and spending huge amounts of money without the headaches. And so that's a good thing. And so if we can get that word out to bring people back into these smaller communities and provide this revenue and, and income sources and jobs in these smaller communities, especially for the youth, that's what we're all about. So um, we appreciate the opportunity to talk to you guys today.